Okay, just a few days uh, we, we talked with him over the phone and he told us he was going to come in for a meeting in Kisumu. After that he was to join us at home here and prepare for the two events. So when the shocking news came that he died around West Pokot, we were shocked. The somebody who was prepared to come to Kisumu, what happened again that took him to get to West Pokot? Mm -hmm. It was very shocking. Uh -huh. But the way in which he said, I also heard it one time when he said, when I was with my sister here, he was telling my sister that within 72 hours, if I die, just bury me behind my home, my house here. And even he showed us where you can bury it. So he did, didn't even fear death. He knew that one day he'll die. Mm -hmm. But he said this in two hours. I even the question my sister told, told her that I know they are the one who, who is normally stubborn. You may bring some stories and all that. So let it be something very simple. So we have abided with that. Mm -hmm. When the committee in Nairobi sat and they agreed with the, with the government and they said within three, 72 hours, we said it's okay. Because that was also his wish. Mm -hmm. He didn't want things which take a long time and, and people keep on moving here and around and feeding and all that. He wanted something very simple, which is not expensive. Mm -hmm. I'm Violet Tomondi. I'm a villager at Masumbi sublocation. And Francis Ogola is my in-law. He has been a village man. He actually has been contributing towards the welfare of the village. He's a humble person, he's a generous person. We also worship with him in the same church. And he has done marvelous in the church. He has built a good church. And actually, we were very ready for the celebration of Saturday and Sunday because we were going to celebrate with him together with the family as we mark the 100 years for the father. So it is very sudden that he is he, he's no more. So may his soul rest in peace. Tabia yake yake, likuwa ye chap chap. Chap chap ya pana. Nini? Apana nyamaza ye likuwa chap chap kwa kwa watoto ya ya watoto ile na salari wa nai. We were very close. We were very, very close. Because my brother, when I gave birth to a son, I called my son Omondi. He's now late. When he gave birth to a girl, the girl was named Achieng. That's my name. So that means how close we were. Hey, I feel my light has been shut. Because we talked, we were organizing for Baba's birthday, and we gave we gave our our children the task to 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 be the lead and organize for the bash. On Sunday, we were going to have prayer prayer Thanksgiving because he built a church, and that church was going to be dedicated to God. So we were we have been meeting every day in the evening we have a conversation. I remember the conversation we had was on Wednesday night. We talked, we confirmed things. Me, I was given the task of, of, of bringing this man who sings Siso Loya Gidala. And he said that Siso man must come. So he confirmed to me, I told him, I'm going to arrange everything, but transport to get him, you will do. So he told me, please go ahead, I will provide the transport. Whatever he needs, I will provide, so long as he comes. Then he told me that Paris tomorrow, Thursday, I'll be in Kisumu. We are going to meet now to do the final arrangements. When I heard the news, me, I was shocked because I was waiting for him that we were going to, in fact, I was also, I wanted to travel from Kisumu to home. So we were waiting just to confirm everything and have the bash. Little did I know that the bash, my father's birthday party, was going to turn to my brother's funeral. May God rest his soul in peace. There is nothing I can say. So since, since Francis wanted people to eat, please you people come and eat. Come and eat. 
he wanted people to come and eat and he told us to invite everybody to come and eat. You are welcome to come and eat tomorrow, Sunday. We had already prepared for meals.